I watched Rebel Ridge on Netflix. This movie is the rarest of things. It is a rip-roaring, kick-ass action movie about public policy. Specifically, it is about civil asset forfeiture and municipal funding corruption. Yes, this is a civil asset forfeiture revenge film, and it freaking rules. And I say that not just because it panders extremely specifically to me. This is a little bit of Jack Reacher here, a little bit of Taken, quite a bit of Rambo, the first one, because it is about a former Marine who is carrying a bag of cash to the courthouse to bail out a family member who is in jail on drug charges, uh, and the local cop just knock him off of his bicycle, uh, take the money that he's carrying, and they, they say, well, we can just take this because we suspect that it's drug related. And this is, in fact, how civil asset forfeiture works. And so things then escalate. And they escalate further as our Marine hero tries every peaceful, reasonable, like decent, normal person way of getting his money back and his family member out of jail. And it doesn't work. And it keeps not working. And eventually he has to go to his contingency plan. Uh, and his contingency plan is he's a former Marine and he's a very special kind of former Marine. He taught the other Marines how to de-escalate and de like basically how to de-arm uh, any person using your body. And so you see then this, like he basically wages a one man war on the local police department, which turns out to be engaged in this vast corrupt scheme to do civil asset forfeiture, to fund the government and like buy all of their weapons and like all, all this stuff. There's this whole bit about like all the fancy toys that they're buying with civil asset forfeiture. This is all stuff from Reason Magazine. This is everything that we have covered. And the final action scene is, uh, is him. He breaks into the, the weapons locker and he gets out, I'm going to spoil it just a little bit, but he gets out all of the, there, there's a whole bit about um, the police chief, the bad guy police chief is played by Don Johnson, who is just oh, yeah. perfectly slimy and sleazy. And he explains, well, you know, we're not allowed to call them non-lethal weapons for legal, for liability purposes. We've got to call them less lethal. And so our hero breaks in and gets out all of the less lethal weapons and uses them against the police force. And it is just so wonderful and just like a really great, tense, perfectly paced thriller. I would say it's it is it moves a little bit slowly and methodically. This isn't a movie that opens with giant action scenes, but it just ratchets up the tension. And if you're going to watch this and you're like not quite sure, wait till about minute 35, because this is where the act break happens. And there is a standoff that happens 35 minutes in that is maybe the single most satisfying scene I have seen in a movie this year. It is just incredible. You watch it and like I was sitting there and I was just like pumping my fist on the couch in my basement. I was so happy about this movie. It's really well done. Um, it's very smart. It is an explainer on uh, on civil asset forfeiture and municipal funding corruption. It is as if Reason Magazine designed and funded and and uh, and 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 put it, put together an action movie. Rebel Ridge on Netflix. Cannot recommend it enough. That was a clip from the latest Reason Roundtable. If you want to see more clips, go here. If you want to see the whole episode, go here. Make sure to subscribe at Reason's YouTube channel or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks for listening, watching, or both.